Solcer, I think this is actually his first time on a Xeno Wi-Fi like being on stream. I think he's entered before, but he's never made it this far in winners. Although he has had pretty good performances overall. Uh, Apollo, on the other hand, has actually top two, top three, multiple leads. He's actually been doing really well for himself lately. Duck Hunt has definitely like evolved a bit and started like putting in a lot of work. So it's gonna be interesting to see how these two former Xeno regulars interact with each other and uh, what, how well they do. Not to say that uh, that Apollo was ever a slouch offline. He actually did great. Right? The overall, he actually had pretty good performances. But we've definitely seen like a huge change in how Apollo plays and how he uh, and how well he's uh, kind of excelled at his character as of late, which is always a great change to see. All right, so are having uh, managing to hold a bit of a lead and just barely whiffing the up air. If we gone for the up smash, he definitely would have gotten it. You see, like, one of the th things that Apollo really loves to do is he loves to wait. He loves to uh, force his opponents to wait and shield so that he can get a very strong punish. And the Clay Pigeon, honestly, like, a huge hitbox on that move, and it does open up a lot of opportunity for uh, Duck Hunts to get kills. Much like uh, Ivysaur's Razor Leaf. And Solstar coming in super low, barely using the, using the Blast Zone super well there. And managing to turn this, uh, managing to actually stack on a lot of extra damage really well. Very smart. And Solstar now at 90%. He's gotta, he's gotta change his game plan a little bit, dude. He's gonna lose his stuff, right? Oh, wait the eye. Oh my goodness, Apollo with the perfect. He just let him into that. It's like he knew that he was going to withdraw and do, and, uh, and just try to go across the stage with that, and he just ran across and knew the exact distance he needed to be to catch it. And Solster now full stock down. He's gotta he's gotta play for a lot safer, but he's taking a lot of hits, and it's gonna be tough for him to uh, to make a comeback if he doesn't manage to grab stage control and maintain it for the next uh, for the next minute or so. You can tell like Apollo is really choosing his opportunities. He's waiting to see when uh, he seems to know really well like when you're about to get hit, and he plays he plays to that advantage exceptionally well. Oh man, if Solstar had been like half a second later on that up on that uh, backer, he definitely would have uh, aided, and that would have been the stock. And you can see, like, Ivysaur's uh, Razor Leaf is a fairly slow-moving projectile, and it can do a lot of things for Ivysaur. But unfortunately, like, it isn't super strong, so it can't take out the gunman, and it can't stop the Clay Pigeon on its own. You have to have some other move work in conjunction with those. And he just had a can shot. He just had a can kicked right into his face, and it blew up. Apollo taking that game with a solid 1-0 that was pretty convincing overall. It's also just changing the uh, color of his trainer. But otherwise, I think we might be going back to PS2. Three, I don't know, Battlefield. Okay. One, go! 
All right, interesting choice. Uh, Trainer is definitely really good at on battlefield, particularly Ivysaur. Ivysaur does great work on uh, the battlefield. Uh, Squirtle also, honestly, can just get some great combos in using the platforms. And I'm not sure if that would have killed, but uh, that last hit of the up air, barely not connecting it, almost to the top of the uh, of battlefield, could have been really bad for Solcer. Let me see, like, the way that Apollo is playing this matchup, he's trying to he's trying to wait for uh, for Solcer to kind of commit to an option. He knows that, uh, Apollo knows that he has better projectiles overall than Solcer does. So he's waiting to see, like, what, uh, how he beats out Razor Leaf, if he can, as well as, like, what he can do to follow up off those little interactions. Oh, an interesting use of can there from, uh, from from Apollo, managing to loop it back, and he hasn't been able to get that stock from. Oh man, a really well placed can, just putting him right, just putting it right at ten distance. And uh, like a frame one, Charizard coming out and taking the stock. This is really the risk that you uh, that you run. When you go to battlefield against a character like Duck who has a really big up air like that, he's able to juggle you just as well as you're able to juggle him. And if he gets you, uh, if he gets you over him, then you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Soulsword taking almost a hundred damage before he's able to get back on the stage, and he gets knocked off immediately. But Tether Tricks managing to get him back on. All right, good use of the uh, great use of the platforms from Soulsword. And now he finally has uh, Apollo almost at kill percent in a barely mistimed forward smash, causing him not to get the uh, the kill there at the ledge. And the wild gunman managing to take the stock for Apollo. Very nicely done. So an interesting choice to go Squirtle here because uh, you don't usually consider Squirtle a character that can kill easily. At least not without making like some huge reads. All right, and you switch to uh, to Ivy Sword after taking a certain amount of percent. Unfortunately, he did take two of the clay pigeons. Uh, Apollo not getting the full combo he obviously wanted to get there. Dude, the clay pigeon putting so much work into Apollo, but Solcer. Denying the move so well, so he's not able to get the full uh, the full combo that he wants to, and a good use of the wild of the of the gunman and the forward smash there. But Solcer managing to shield through all of it and getting the uh, the, the back throw. Solcer still has a good chance here. He just has to watch out for uh, he just has to watch out for any kind of kill move coming from uh, from Apollo. And Vine Whip is still fresh enough where it can knock out the Wild Gunman, but it's going to be a little bit... In a second or so, it's not going to be usable for that purpose anymore. Man, these cantrips coming from Apollo are nuts, dude! <laughs> Why? He just, he's just sniping him with this can! What is going on? What? happen all right good stuff up to apollo jeez man I, I i don't know what to say about that last part about that last part of the match but he managed to take it really consistent uh really convincingly apollo moves on to winner semis Alright, this set is going to be best of five. The set coming up, we're going to have Beast versus Pokeland up next, and this will be a best of five set, so.